Baby, baby, what you saying? I could do it for you like every day. I know you're tripping bad about some things. Yes, sir. It is your boy, Kate, be the boss with ShifterMagazine.com here with one of the artists who's been kind of crafting the R&B sound coming out of Toronto over the past few years. She's been very hardworking, um, has released a few, a few features in, uh, in recent months that have been uh, kind of gaining traction on YouTube and Spotify. So it's my pleasure to jump right in with Toronto's very own Nadia Stone. Hey, thank, thank hey. you. Hi. <laughs> How, how's it going? It's great. How about you? Very good. Very good. How, how's how's uh, COVID been uh, been treating you? Oh my gosh. You know, I, I'm ready for it to be done. I really hope June 2nd, like Dougie's not playing with us because <laughs> like I'm ready for things to open, but I just got vaccinated. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> did you have any, did you have any like sent- symptoms or anything after the vaccination? You know what I did? I, so I got Pfizer and uh they did my left arm yeah the moment they like put it in i literally felt like somebody punched my arm like 50 times wow and it was in excruciating pain for about two days i can still feel a little soreness now but not like it was before yeah that's it so far hopefully nothing else okay yeah i'm going for mine on the 26th we'll see see how that goes good luck are you getting pfizer i have no idea what they're putting in me and i know i just know it's not (laughs) it's not um astrazeneca that's all i know Okay, good, good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Pfizer, that's that's my like testimonies is the arm. So mm-hmm. okay, cool. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump into the music. But first of all, I mean I love I, I'm looking at kind of your 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 uh your style there. Are you, are you do you do you have a stylist? Are you kind of like your are you like a French Montana no stylist? No, I'm like French Montana, no motherfucking stylist. <laughs> <laughs> for, yeah, I style I'll, myself. That's good. Like, I, I always love like just seeing like, because obviously for artists, like your, you know, your physical uh, styling is always, it's a, it's a kind of like a, an extension of who you are as an artist. So very, very, yes. very cool to see you kind of have that, have that aspect down. Thank you. Was, was, was I fashion, try. Is fashion, has fashion always been kind of, you know, like say going back even before being an artist was like fashion and style always something you're kind of into? Absolutely. I think like, I think fashion goes hand in hand with music. And I think like when you put your best foot forward and you, you use it to kind of like express who you are, it's so much fun. And like, why not? You know, you're an artist, so you should be showing that side of yourself. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely agree. So let's, let's talk about these, uh, these last few uh, um, singles or features that came out. You had uh, No Better recently. Yeah, like, notify. Notify. Like I've been, I've been, I've been, you know, I've been kind of paying attention, just kind of listening to that track. Um, congratulations, on, congratulations on that. Um, what, what was it like? First of all, kind of just working with. I'm sure you guys didn't work physically together, but um, yeah. how was it? Just kind of collaborating with uh, with Notify. It's been great, actually. We have known each other, I want to say, like the last two and a half years. And we've always had like a mutual respect for each other. We've always liked each other's music. We've always been so positive, followed each other and commented. He actually came to my last live show at Regulars Bar. Uh, That was, gosh, was that beginning of 2020, just before the lockdown hit? This was like February. And when he showed me love at that show, I was like, damn, you know, like not a lot of artists come and like they come to your shows and they support out here in Toronto. So the fact that he did that just showed me like on another level, like how much closer that we could be and that we could work together. So it kind of just happened organically. Like he sent me a song one day and he was like, yeah, do you like this? And I absolutely loved it. I thought it was like a dope club banger, something that we could do for summer. We still want to shoot a music video for it. So stay tuned for that. I think that should be a lot of fun. But yeah, he sent it to me. I did my verse sent it back and he was like I love it put it together and it was as easy as that so mm-hmm. yeah I got really lucky with that one and, and for you as an artist is, is it important for you to to write your own verses or are you kind of open to just you know collaboration and writing rooms and all that kind of stuff you know what I am open to collaborating with writing as well but I think it's important as an artist like if you're if you're in a room and you don't happen to have someone that you can collaborate with it is important to be able to come yourself you know because I think that now when you write your own music too, you make more that way. That's and you true. put yourself on a different level. Very true, very true. Mm-hmm. Now, before No Better, there was, you know, What You Saying with Universe. Yes, yeah, we, so we, Universe. We interviewed recently. Um, what was that like? Just kind of, because we don't see a lot of um, kind of all women's you know, collaboration. So what was it like uh, kind of collaborating with her? I absolutely love Universe. She is just an all around amazing woman. So sweet, so nice. She just made me feel at home right away. 
um, I think it was so interesting how it happened with her and I. She was doing something at the mansion for Swagger Wright. He was doing a performance there. Everybody was there that day. Roy Woods came through and it was so funny. All the guys were in the studio. They're all smoking and I'm so bad with smoke. <laughs> like it just like completely takes my voice away. Unfortunately, I can't like hang. So I, they had the humidifiers on and she made me feel so at home. It was the very second beat she played me. That happened to be what you say in. And um, I wrote it there on the spot uh, with Bilal. And then after that, uh, <laughs> I wanted to record, but the smoke was so bad. So the very next day I came in, recorded it. And she was like, yo, I love this song. Like we need to do something. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. the, and the video is really good. Like, I mean, obviously the video is just very, like very colorful and very like, kind of over the top. Like how is it kind of yes. on set shooting that video? So much fun. Um, Michaela is the girl that she, she actually directed the video. And it was fun because we made it all about women and women empowerment. Like that was the basis behind the music video. And to have like a female set like that too was so cool and so different. And we really wanted to be able to stand out in Toronto to show like, hey, all women put this together. So nothing but positive energy. I think um, Universe and I had some other stuff on the way together because the last single did so well and people were so surprised that two girls were able to like make this happen without ripping each other's eyes and hair out. So um, yeah, we have some other stuff on the way that I'm very mm -hmm. excited about. Yeah, when we, when we did inf interview her, she let me know you guys have some uh, some tracks in the stash. So yes, <laughs> yeah, look forward I wasn't to that. sure she was gonna let that one up the back. Yeah, she did. She let me know. So yeah, I'm very excited to hear that. Um, who who else in the city? Like uh, who else? Uh, when you're looking at Toronto, because obviously Toronto is very hot right now. Like who else? You kind of when you look around, who are some yeah. of the people that you're like, man, I'd love to maybe jump on jump on a track with that person, producers or artists. Okay, uh, definitely want to do something with Roy Woods. Um, I'm half Jamaican and it's like, we're Jamaican, it's like we should do something together. <laughs> and like, he's another friend of mine too, and he's so nice. I really uh, respect Free as well. I really like what he's doing. I think his sound is super dope. Um, there's there's quite a lot of people in Toronto. Like I'm just, I'm very open. I like to collaborate right now. That's kind of like my thing at the moment is just, just doing a bunch of features. I think like in America, a lot of the artists, like when they do features, it's just, it's just so dope. It's so fun. I think that we mm -hmm. need to bring more of that here. No, definitely, definitely. Now you mentioned uh, being Jamaican, you're half yes. Jamaican, half Italian. Now both yes. of those places are known for their food. Yes. So, when you, so, so for you, it's like, who, 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 between the Italian and Jamaican side, like who, who, who makes, who makes the better food? Who do you think? You're gonna laugh. My mom, who's Italian, she actually makes better oxtail now than my own dad. Wow. So how funny is that, that she ended up mastering it after all the years after she learned. But you know what? I can't choose. I love both cuisines equally and both places equally. Like they're both so beautiful. So what's your go-to like Italian dish and your go-to like Jamaican dish? My go-to Italian dish would be gnocchi. It's like a certain type of pasta, but it's made out of potatoes. It's hands down my favorite and Jamaican, if I had to choose, it's funny now because I don't I try not to eat meat that much anymore. So before it would have been jerk chicken, but now because I'm not eating meat, I can salt fish. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, interesting. yeah. <laughs> hmm. So do you, are, you, are, you, are you a big, big cook yourself? I do cook as well. I, I need to learn how to make Aki and salt fish though. That one I don't know how to make. Interesting. And do you, yeah. and you know, at home was like Italian, something that was kind of spoke around the home. Like, can you, are you fluent in Italian? I speak Italian really well. I actually first learned how to sing in Italian. I sang like Italian opera. Yeah. And uh, it was really important in my family, like as far as authenticity goes to be able to, like, if you're going to sing, you better sing in Italian too. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I did learn that at a very young age. And I think it's a really cool tool to have because when I uh, was staying in Italy for a little bit, I was working with another artist named Lyong. He was signed to Sony Music Italia and he's doing really, really well out there. It's funny. He's actually half Italian, half African. And uh, we collaborate on some stuff out there and the fan base is crazy. They really support, like they're diehard supporters and um, they really like the fusions as well of the music too out there. So I, I just love incorporating like Italian stuff too. Okay, into my music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I talked a little bit before just about, um, you know, Toronto is obviously getting a lot of shine right now. Like a lot of people, yes. a lot of people outside the city are kind of paying attention to what's happening um, in Toronto. What do you think of just of the general like attention that uh, that Toronto is getting right now? Just the love for not well, obviously from Canada, but also the United States and the other countries. 
I think it's about damn time. We have so much talent here and like we should have been on. Like we also set the tone for so much like so many different things out here. We're so diverse. We have so many different cultures here. And I think that we really do kind of like we're the trendsetters. And I think a lot of people like to copy off of us right now. So damn right. Shout out to Toronto. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and, and for you, like, do you have kind of like, what do you, like, I guess, where do you kind of see yourself going? Because obviously you have your part Jamaican, your part Italian, like you've collaborated yes. with, you know, someone in, Ital in Italy. Mm -hmm. um, what are your kind of aspirations? Like, where do you kind of want to go? Like, do you see yourself, you know, becoming more international? Like, where is Nadia Stone going? Thanks for asking that. I definitely want to do more of an international thing. I, I still want to be able to go to the States and do some more like collaborations with some American artists as well. But I think that it's still kind of like today where you got to go to the States to still do the full, you know, international thing. So eventually I would like to go to LA for a few months and do some more work out there. I have like a really amazing friend of mine who lives out there. She works in PR. Her name is Kiki Ayers and she's so connected and so amazing at what she does. And I'd love to do some stuff, some work with her out there. And I would like to also go back to Italy for a little bit too, because I think again, like they're just diehard fans, they support and me being half Italian, it just works. Um, and yeah, I just want to travel. I want to go to Japan as well. I really like their market. Mm -hmm. interesting yeah mm -hmm. I mean I, I think I think a lot of us just are, are kind of in the point where like we, we need to travel now but obviously with what's happening yeah. in the world you can't you can't do that do it as much but um I think it's never been it's never been a greater time like Canada is just in a great spot right now and I think the world has never wanted more of us so I think it's yeah it's, it's important for us to all kind of um get out there and um, I completely agree yeah. How, how, and I mean, are there any other places like in, in the in the world, aside from Italy, any other countries that kind of just intrigue you at all? Uh, yes. Um, Egypt. I really want to go to Egypt. Uh, it's probably top of the list right now. Uh, again, Japan. Really want to go to Japan. Uh, where else? Hmm. I used to really want to go to Dubai, but I'm not sure now. I heard it's really, really hot out there. Like, gross hot so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll be able to deal with that yeah okay interesting so and 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 last but not least um obviously you've been doing some you know you've been doing the features uh recently yes. which have been amazing you know when it comes to say your own material whether it's you know a, a singles albums like when can we expect some um kind of maybe some solo material from you in, in the coming months or year yeah I actually have a solo debut in the works right now I'm hoping for like mm, end of July release somewhere in July mid July yeah and that's going to be crazy I want that to be like super summer vibes I was about to it's, ask it's you, looking yeah. good right now yeah I, was about to ask I don't you. want to say too much okay okay I was, I was going to ask you if it was kind of like some some summer vibes maybe maybe some like yes. is, there, is it is it a little bit of Caribbean Afro beats like type of this one well I did a Caribbean one kind of like a uh, it was called Oh My. I did that last year in July. But this one is just like a little bit more, it's not really Caribbean vibes, it's more just kind of like, I want to say like pool vibes, like R&B, but more fun, mm -hmm. a little bit more upbeat. Yeah. Okay. And, and last but not least, like, are there any, um, obviously, you probably just see a lot of female artists out there that are kind of doing their thing. Any, any yes. female artists you kind of just, just want to shout out before we go? Um, I want to shout out Raven, amazing vocals. Um, there's Sirachi, I love her as well. Um, I want to shout out my other friend, Natasha Renee. She's another amazing vocalist. Gosh, I feel like there's so many females in the city. Of course, Universe, as usual. Of course, she's amazing. Um, I think that's it right now. Yeah. Okay. That I can think of. We can go all day. <laughs> oh, no, definitely. I no, mean, there's so much. There's, I mean, even outside of Toronto, there's like just this amazing talent just happening across Canada, uh, yes. Calgary, Ottawa, Vancouver. Everyone's doing their thing. So definitely, it's it's been a, it's been a great time just to see the amount of female artists that are coming out of out of Canada. And I think yeah, Canada's I think starting to even punch above its weight when it comes to just females, female artists that are able to kind of do their thing and, and get support. So um, kudos to you and all the other. Uh, female artists in Canada doing their thing. Thank you so much. No problem. And yeah, I just want to say thank you for your time. And we're going to just be, definitely going to be looking out for uh, that summer track that you're going to be dropping as well as anything else that yes. you drop. And uh, once again, everybody, this is Toronto's very own Nadia Stone. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.